Missions at Harvard and colleges and universities across the country coming under increased scrutiny after the Supreme Court banned the use of affirmative action in school admissions. Legacy admission is showing preferential treatment to applicants who are children of alumni, donors, or staff members. Many are also called for an end of pre preferred treatment for those who play sports. One study found that 43% of white students at Harvard are legacy students or athletes. Joining us now is former federal prosecutor Mitch Epner. Mitch, thank you so much for being here. So this comes after the Supreme Court ruled late last month that race cannot be considered in college admissions. What's your reaction? So um, there has been a very swift reaction from uh, a number of people who are quite upset about the Supreme Court's ruling saying what sauce for the goose should be sauce for the gander and um, privileged uh, alums should not be able to get their less deserving children into these elite institutions. Um, and some of them have been threatening to bring lawsuits, but I do not think that the lawsuit route is actually available to them. Thank you. And we are taking a live look right now at President Biden arriving in Lithuania to the NATO summit. He's just exiting Air Force One and he's being greeted there on the red carpet that was just rolled out moments ago. Mitch, we'll continue our conversation here. So one Massachusetts lawmaker has said that legacy admissions are affirmative action for the wealthy. What do you make of that statement? Well, I think that's actually a pretty fair way to put it. Um, legacy admissions tend to help people who have already had a lot of advantages because by definition, their parents or other relatives have gone to these elite institutions and received the benefits from that. So Colorado is the only state that bans legacy admissions outright, but more than 100 colleges um, have reportedly dropped them voluntarily. Do you see more schools taking that voluntary route? I think so. I mean, for example, Johns Hopkins University um, said that they were no longer going to give a preference to legacy applicants. And this is not a ban on legacy children applying. It's just a ban on them getting a preference. Um, but in Johns Hopkins um, example, they were able to do that because their single largest donor, Michael Bloomberg, who's given literally billions of dollars, insisted on an end to legacy preference um, in return for his donations. And a lot of um, alums, when they give money to their colleges or universities, do so with the expectation that their children will get a preference. So that is part of what is facing these um, highly selective schools. Do you think we'll see some type of lawsuit against Harvard and other schools on the subject of legacy admissions, Mitch? So the only entity that could bring such a lawsuit is the Department of Justice. About 20 years ago, the Supreme Court held that there is no private right of action for things that have a disparate impact, meaning it's not race on its face, it's just the impact of it has a secondary racial implication. So only the DOJ could do this, and I have not seen any indication that the DOJ has any appetite for bringing this type of lawsuit. All right. Former federal prosecutor Mitch Epner, thank you for the breakdown. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.